Lance, I need you to come meet me as soon as possible. Malcolm, what's going on? The situation in Scotland is getting out of hand and they've called us in to investigate so that the situation can't escalate any further. I'm on my way. Thank God you're here. Where should we start? Let's just review the evidence that we have so far. That means we need to start all the way from the beginning. The murder of King Duncan. The murder occurred at the castle of Lord Macbeth. There is no proven killer that is known of, but there are a few possible suspects. The suspected murder weapons, two daggers, were found with the guards who were watching over Duncan the night of the murder. The guards were covered in blood, which is believed to be Duncan's, but however, there were no witnesses to the murder, so we need to consider other possible suspects and their motives. So our first suspects are the guards because they were found with the murder weapons in their possession. We can't get statements from these guards because they were found dead the same night. We do have a statement from Lennox, explaining how Macbeth confessed he is the one who killed them out of his rage and finding Duncan's lifeless body. Right, let me find that statement. Their hands and faces were all badged with blood. So were their daggers, which unwisely found upon their pillows. They stared and were distracted. No man's life was to be trusted with them. Macbeth then said, oh yet I do repent me of my fury that I did kill them. We need to consider other possible suspects, too. So let's state the facts. The unknown suspect mm -hmm. had to have a motive for wanting to kill Duncan. And we know for sure both Lennox and Macbeth were both present at the murder scene near the time the murder occurred. What motive could either of them have had? Macbeth, Thane of Gloms, Thane of Cawdor, a loyal warrior to his country. He's willing to go to battle to fight for his country, and maybe he could be seeking out more power than he already has right now. Right. He has a newly named the Thane of Caldor after being successful in the battle against the Norwegians. His new taste of power could have him seeking for a more powerful role, or the most powerful role, King. I think we have our first suspect to look into. We have a statement from Ross. He talks about some weird actions that Macbeth displayed at his own coronation banquet. That's right. Macbeth was acting really unusually the night of the coronation banquet. I invited him to sit down at the table with us, but he wouldn't. He said something like, which of you have done this, and then said that the table was full, and we were all confused because there was an empty seat right there at the table for him to sit in. He started to talk about how he was seeing things, and then I asked him what he was seeing, and he said, you make me strange, even to the disposition that I owe, when now I think you can behold such sights and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks when mine is blanched with beard. It's confusing because the lords and I didn't see anything. So Macbeth is acting weird and seeing things that no one else could see. It sounds like he's having hallucinations, which are pretty much a sign of guilt, and guilt potentially caused by his role in the murder of Duncan. We have to remember that the murder of Bank will also happen. Is there any chance of Beth could be involved in that murder as well? It's a possibility, and even though Macbeth and Bank will pr were presumably friends, uh, that doesn't mean that Macbeth should be out of consideration for a possible suspect. And, I say we need to go to Scotland to find out some more information. I agree. We should leave as soon as possible before things have the chance to get even worse. There is a battle on the horizon. We need to get there before any action starts to happen. Where do you think we should start? Our associate here in Scotland told me that he heard that Lady Macbeth had recently been seen by a doctor because of some unusual behavior disrupting her sleep. We need to find that doctor. Lady Macbeth could be having trouble sleeping because she's hiding behind the fact that she knows Macbeth murdered Duncan. I don't have much time to talk, gentlemen. What do you need from me? I have patience to see. We need to talk about Lady Macbeth. What about her? Well, we're investigating the murders that have occurred recently, and we have, we have reason to believe that Lady Macbeth is hiding something. So can we get a statement from you about what you witnessed when you went to see her? She was sleepwalking. She was holding a light. Her eyes were open, but she wasn't able to see anything. She started rubbing her hands and was saying, Oh, damn spot. Like there was something on her hands, even though there was nothing. She said, Yet who would have thought the old man have had so much blood in him? She didn't say who this old man was, but she kept rubbing her hands. After that, she said what sounded like an instruction. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale. I tell you yet again, Banquo's furry, he cannot come out to his grave. 
Before she went to bed, still sleepwalking, she said, What's done cannot be undone. Her illness was out of my ability to diagnose. It was unlike anything I had ever seen. She seemed very distraught. How can you be so sure about what you witnessed that night? I recorded everything. It was such a weird occurrence, so it stuck in my mind. Thank you for your time. Sounds like Lady Macbeth is comforting someone who was involved with the murder of Banquo. We shouldn't assume that it was Macbeth who she was comforting, but it is something we should look into and consider. Because Lady Macbeth is linked to Macbeth by marriage, and married people are usually partners in crime, but if they're not, the other one at least knows what the other is up to. They're both showing signs of guilt. Exactly. Lady Macbeth, she can't sleep, and she's sleepwalking, and she's saying suspicious things, and it seems like she's unable to say these things when she's right-minded, so it all just comes out when she's asleep. Where to next? Hold on, I'm getting a phone call from Lennox. What's going on? The English power is approaching. Revenge is burning them for their dear causes. Would to the bleeding and grim alarm excite the mortified man. Macbeth is in Dunsinane, fortifying his castle. He's out of control. The battle is starting soon. You should come quickly. We're on our way. It's becoming more and more obvious that Macbeth had a part in these murders. We need to find him. I'll go to Scotland and try to find him. You should go to England and keep an eye on the army's whereabouts. Officer, I need to talk to you. I've just come from Dunsinane. You were with Macbeth? Yes, I was in his castle with him. He said some things that I thought would be important to your investigation. Tell me more. He said he won't be scared or fearful until Burnham Wood gets up and goes to Dunsinane. He doesn't seem frightened by the battle about to happen. It just doesn't seem right. What else happened? A servant tried to tell him the army was coming, but he didn't seem bothered by it at all. That seems odd. He talked about how he thinks his life is beginning to wither away and that he feels he's lived long enough. He said this push will cheer me ever and deceit me now. I have lived long enough. My way of life has fallen into the sea of the yellow leaf. I tried to tell him about his wife's sleeping impediment, but seemed preoccupied for preparing for the impending war. Alright, thanks for the information. Carry on your way. I'm just going to give Malcolm a quick call. What's the verdict? I just talked to the doctor and he told me he had just talked to Macbeth. He doesn't seem frightened at all about the battle, which indicated destructive personality and lack of fear of hurting others. I'm beginning to think he would not have a problem at all with killing King Duncan and Banquo. I'm just about to reach the English side to get more information and to get their opinions on Macbeth. Macduff, how's it going with your side? We're preparing for battle. I'm outraged and seeking revenge. Can I get a statement from you regarding Macbeth? Macbeth had killed my wife and children. I felt such sorrow. He, they didn't do anything. He killed them out of anger towards me. We need someone like you to help our investigation. Join us to make Macbeth pay for all the wrongs he's committed. I'm on my way to battle right now. My men are all holding trees, and Macbeth will never know how many of us there are. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Macduff is on his way to see Macbeth to avenge the death of his family. Macbeth killed Macduff's family. He's responsible for all of these murders. He's responsible for the downfall of Scotland. Here, I'll play a voice recording of Ross and what he says about what's happened to Scotland since Macbeth has become king. Where sighs and groans and shrieks that rend the air made, not marked where violent sorrow seems a modern ecstasy. The dead man now is their scars ask for who, and good men's lives expire before the flowers in their caps. Dying or ear they sicken. You need to come to Dunsinane right now. Since Macduff's men are carrying branches from Burnham Forest, Macbeth will actually start to be frightened when he sees the trees coming towards him. It will be a perfect time to confront him. It's not long until he gets what he deserves for murdering all those people. Has anything else happened? I heard the news that Lady Macbeth has committed suicide. Also, I overheard Macbeth saying, Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. I need to go. I hear people approaching. Why should I play the Roman fool and die on mine own sword? Whilst I see lies, the gashes do better upon them. Turn, hellhound, turn! As easy mayest thou the inner chance air with thy keen sword impressed as make me bleed. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crest. I bear a 
charmed wife which must not yield to one of a woman born. Well, unlucky for you, I was born by C-section. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the Hail King of Scotland. Scotland is getting out of hand. They call us in to investigate the situation. Hold on. I don't Can know you why see Rose? The situation in Scotland is getting out of, out of <laughs> <laughs> the situation in Scotland is getting out of hand. They call us in to investigate so that it can't. The situation is getting out of hand. <laughs> Shut up, Rose. <laughs> Where do we start? Let's just go over what we've been. Whoa, Sarah. I don't even. I haven't even read what I'm supposed to be saying here this morning. <laughs> Where should we start? Let's go over the evidence we have so far. Damn it. <laughs> You're just gonna have to keep walking up and down these stairs and doing it right. <laughs> the murder occurred at the castle of Lord Macbeth. There is no proven killer that is known of, but there are a few <laughs> Like Lady Macbeth was comforting someone who was. I don't. I can't <laughs> read. Involved it's... in the. Where to next? Shit. <laughs> Malcolm says that. Okay, um. So Lady Macbeth can't sleep. She's sleepwalking and saying suspicious things. <laughs> Rose. Where to next? <laughs> Thank you for your time. He talked about how he thinks his life is beginning to I've just come from Dunstan. Stop! <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where is it? <laughs> Rose! Oh. Okay, I need to stop, I need to stop, I need to stop, okay. <laughs> One line, Why do you look so mad? I'm sorry. Because I to change. <laughs> <laughs> I like the choir back there. The background music. Okay. Revenge is burning them for their cause. Oh my god, I hate my life. Revenge is burning them for their dear causes. Would to the bleeding and cruel. Would to be. What? Would. Their causes. Would the. I'm outraged and seeking revenge. <laughs> revenge? We need someone like you to join our. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Die on mine own sword while I see <laughs> Why should I play the Roman fool? <laughs> Why should I play the Roman fool and die on mine oh oh sword? <laughs> yes, boo! Oh my god! Take five. Uh, Why should I play the Roman fool and die on mine own sword? Nyra, Holy you're the shit! Person. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's not that hard. I'm just holding the damn sign. <laughs> It, you know, like what's it called? The, the nay nay. Yeah, the nay nay. There you go. As easy may it thou the inner chant air with thy keen sword impress. Oh man, I missed it. Sword. Sword. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable, vulnerable. Learn how to speak English. <laughs> Naira, stop! 